A 12 foot ladder is leaning against a wall. If the top slips down the wall at a rate of two feet per second, how fast will the foot be moving away from the wall when the top is eight feet above the ground? Okay, the top of the ladder is falling at two feet per second. And as a consequence of that, the bottom is moving to the right. If we let the vertical distance be represented by y and the horizontal distance be represented by x, what basically they are asking us to find is the derivative of x with respect to time when the top is eight feet above the ground, when y is equal to eight feet, right? Let's do it. So at any time, at any time, since X and Y are part of this right triangle, due to the theorem of Pythagoras, X squared plus Y squared should be equal to 12 squared. X squared plus Y squared should be equal to 144, which is the square of 12. Now, if we take derivatives with respect to time of both sides of this equation, this is what we're gonna get. The derivative of the square will be the usual derivative that comes to mind twice x multiplied by derivative of x with respect to time, right? Because recall, we're taking derivative with respect to time, not with respect to x. And because of the chain rule, this is the derivative of the outside function, x squared and that must be multiplied by the derivative of the inside function x, which is a function of time. Similarly, for derivative of y squared, the derivative comes to mind is 2y, but since we are taking the derivative with respect to time, we must attach dy dt. And this should be equal to the derivative of this constant function, zero. Okay, now let's replace what we have and let's find out what we don't have. Twice x here, x I don't have. I'm gonna leave a space here. dx dt is precisely what we will find out, right? Plus twice y. Y we have is eight, eight feet, right? Eight. dy dt. dy dt is given by two feet per second, but since y is decreasing over time, this rate must be negative, right? Negative two feet per second. So be careful there with the sign. All that equal to zero. Now, when y is equal to eight, right? If you look at this right triangle, then because of the theorem of Pythagoras, x should be equal to the square root of 12 squared minus eight squared, right? And that is something that we can compute with our scientific calculator. So I am using here, our decimal scientific calculator. So 12 squared minus eight squared. The square root of all that is 8.94, rounded to two decimal places, right? So let's write this out, 8.94 here, 8.94. And this is precisely what we're gonna place here, 8.94, good. So now two times, 8.94 is equal to following two times 8.94, 17.88 times the XDT with, which is what we're looking for. 2 times 8 is 16, times 2, 32, positive times negative, negative, right? Minus 32 equals zero. Transposing 32 to the right side or equivalently adding 32 to both sides of this equation, we get this. And finally, isolating dx dt, dividing both sides by 17.88, we should get this, right? For dx dt. Let's compute this in our calculator. So we have 32 divided by 17.88. 
that is 1.789. I'm gonna round it to two decimal places. So this should be approximately equal to 1.79. 1.79 is what is out here, 1.79. And in the end, feel free to attach uh, the units, right? Feet, feet per second. And it's consistent with the fact that X is growing over time, right? It's positive rate of change. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. More videos coming up.